Have you ever done a bunch of push-ups one day and then developed a really nasty headache later that day or the following day? In today's video, we're going to be talking about why that might be occurring and what you can start doing differently to avoid that scenario from happening in the first place. This is Greg with SportsRehabExpert.com. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And if you've experienced headaches before, drop them in the comments below. Let, let us know where the headaches are located at and uh, you know, are they provoked by push-ups or a different movement altogether. So there's really two main problems that I'll see when people are doing push-ups. Um, realistically, this isn't just a problem with headaches. Uh, I see this problem develop shoulder pain, back pain, um, thoracic type pain, shoulder blade type pain. So this goes for a lot of different issues too, not just headaches. But ultimately, when we're looking at headaches, there's two muscle groups that are usually involved with the majority of headaches, um, especially with push-ups, because a lot of people get over tense in these muscles when they are doing a push-up. And these two muscles are your upper trap and your sternocleidomastoid, or SCM it's commonly referred to as. Now the upper trap is a little bit more of a shoulder blade issue and a technique issue while performing the push-up. The SCM or the neck muscle is a little bit more of a neck issue or a neck technique problem with the push-up. So either you're experiencing one or the other or a combination of both and this is why it's causing you a problem. So we're going to start with the sternocleidomastoid or the SCM. This is generally caused by a forward head presentation. Jutting the head forward is going to make this neck muscle super tense. That neck muscle runs all the way up to behind your ear basically. So if there's a lot of tenderness there when you're trying to touch it, it's probably a good source but this is part of the issue. Or if you film yourself performing a push-up and you notice yourself tensing this muscle and it's very prominent, likely it's a problem. Very simple solution is that your head should not be pushed forward or jutted forward like you're staring at a computer screen just like you are right now because you'll start seeing that muscle pop out. I see this all the time, especially when people elevate their hands doing a push-up because they want to get more depth, so they think they're doing themselves a, a good service by getting more shoulder range of motion out of the push-up, but what they actually end up doing is they don't go any deeper. They just start jutting their head further and further forward as they're doing the push-up, and they don't get any deeper into the push-up, so there's really no point of adding that extra depth if you're just going to start jutting your head forward to get down lower. You need to move your nose, sternum, belly button up and down at the same rate. If you don't see your belly button, sternum, and nose moving up and down at the same rate, something's not right with your push-up. All three of those segments, meaning your OA joint, your scapulothoracic joint, your sternum area, and your lumbar spine, your belly button, all those three joints should be moving up and down like an elevator at the same rate. Not one before the other, not one further than the other, all at the same rate. Next up is the shoulder and the upper trap. And this is probably the biggest misconception of the push-up over anything, is I need to squeeze my shoulder blades together when I'm going down at the bottom of a push-up. Just ask yourself this question, what muscle am I trying to work out when I'm doing a push-up? It's my chest, the pecs, and my triceps. Does the scapula really have much to do with those two at all? Not really. The scapula is just a very loosely fitting joint that sits on the back of your rib cage that moves freely as you move. So why are we trying to create movement with that joint? That joint just goes along for the ride. It is never the driver of a movement. It just goes for the ride. So let's focus our attention on the muscles that are being trained with a push-up. Triceps, pretty easy. You just extend your elbow, bend your elbow. Chest, a little bit more subtlety to this one. If you go down in your push-up, you're eccentrically lengthening your chest, meaning your chest should feel like it's getting broad or wider, or your collarbone should feel like it's spreading. That is eccentric orientation of the pec musculature without letting your shoulder dump forward. Again, things should feel like it's widening, getting more broad. That will help keep the tension in your pecs. That's where you should feel your tension. You do not need to tense your scapula. Your scapula, again, should move freely on your back as you go up and down. As you go down the push-up, the scapula will adduct. As you push all the way up into the push-up, the scapula will protract. 
but that just happens as a consequence to the movement. It's normal and natural. It requires zero tension to create that movement. The joint will just freely float in those directions as you go up and down in the push-up. So stop, please, for the love of God, stop trying to squeeze your shoulder blade to all get out because it's causing more problems than good. Focus your attention on the muscles that are working. Your pecs are eccentrically lengthening at the bottom and then they're contracting just like your triceps contracting as you're pushing that elbow up straight. Again, Keep in mind, nose, sternum, belly button, rise and fall together as an elevator. That way you keep the joints in a nice position so you don't kick on your neck too much. But focusing your attention on what the pecs are doing are going to help quiet the upper trap. And that way you don't start shrugging up as you drop down into position or don't squeeze back super tight to make the upper trap tense the whole entire time during your push-up. And you are going to be much happier because you're not going to be getting a headache after doing push-ups every single time.